way, the your phone says, head south on Market Street. So you look down at the phone, you're looking at that blue dot on the map, and you're starting to walk to see if it's moving in the same direction. If it's not, you're turning around. You open the camera. Yes. City with underground transit, you bunch of arrows saying, go that way. So if you're expecting this on your phone, well, you don't. Google's only rolling this out to select local guides today. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're talking about Google Maps's Google Maps. Google Maps AR feature. If you're new to a city and trying to get familiar to it, then this will definitely help you. So AR or augmented reality is a technology that superimposes a computer generated image on a user's view of the real world. Now this could be through goggles or through the viewfinder on your phone, what the camera sees, you know? So imagine this, you get off the closest train station from your house and you need to find the closest grocery store from where you live. So you go to Google Maps, you look up grocery store, you find the closest one and then you hit directions. And then you struggle with this little blue thing that tries to find out which way you're supposed to go. I always told myself that it's just my phone because of that one time I dropped it. But turns out everyone's phone's GPS is not good enough to orient you immediately. When we hit walk directions, there's this new button. I, I don't know about you guys, but I pick up the smallest detail updates that they put up on these things. I need to hold my phone up so that the camera can scan the surroundings and then this pops up. Now I can walk around and it just adds these banners to show me the direction. If I change the angle of my phone like this, the AR camera view vanishes and if I hold it back up, it comes back on. The interface still has a lot of bugs and it's far from fluid like Google Maps itself. But I think that's just a software glitch and Google will fix that in time. But in the live view, there's a huge banner that says beta, which means, wait Josh, it's going to be fixed in the next updates. I've been messing around with this for a couple of days now and here are my thoughts about Google's live view. So this feature is useful only for a couple of seconds until you orient yourself properly when you get out of the subway station, right? Because GPS is not the best in figuring out your orientation your geographical orientation. So in my opinion, when you're already in the live view, there needs to be a convenient button to get out. Instead, it stutters when you pull it down or it stutters when you hit back and then you got to hit back again to get out of live view. I think there should just be a convenient button to get out of it or it just vanishes when you found your way out. Maybe that's just me because it stutters so much, but if it stuttered lesser, maybe I could judge it better, you know. Secondly, it doesn't work so well in parks and gardens and so on. And I understand why, because the camera is actually looking for buildings and comparing it with street view. So I understand why it doesn't, but it's just worth noting that it doesn't. If you just move a few meters into a road where there's a post or something or buildings around, then it instantly finds out where you are. Thirdly, you need to be in walking directions. So in Google directions, there's driving, there's public transport, there's walking and taxi. Uh, you need to be in walking directions. Even if you're walking somewhere and your itinerary involves a public transport, then a live view doesn't show up and that's a bummer because when they showed this out on Google I.O., she said when you get out of the subway. If you use the subway, then you probably used Google Maps to get out of that station. And it doesn't work. And fourthly, why promise that there's this new feature when it isn't built yet? Google spoke about this back in 2018, that it's going to be out soon. But even Engadget and The Words, they got it like nine months after the announcement. And, and even when I get it like nine months later, it's still a stuttering. So... If it's just going to be in 12 months, then maybe they should not have announced it. If this has finally surfaced, then I think it's time Google will probably give us a sneak peek on that Google Lens feature I spoke about. There was this feature where Sundar Pichai said that if you took a picture of someone and there's a fence in between, then Google Lens will get rid of that fence. And it looked so neat, so well photoshopped. Or However, machine learning solves that problem. I think it's time that we saw that. If you're back in India and you get this update, then I'm really curious to see what it looks like back in India. Does it work? Does it sh pick up from streets? I'm guessing not because Google, India does not have street view. I think it has to do with the government and, and whatnot. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I'll see you guys next week. And in the meantime, keep learning. These banners are a lot like NFS, you know, like back when I used to play in Most Wanted and I like these banners so much that I went ahead and animated them in in one of my videos back from India. 
I I I really like this. It's probably because of the banners, but I really like this feature.